you know, but I give him the little shot fade because I know he's a shot blocker and I'm able to get, you know, a strong finish through that. All right, Jalen Brown, my guy, in here in the TD Bank Film Study Room again. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having um, me. You're driving to the basket more than two times as much as you did last season. Um, so why are you feeling so comfortable in doing this around the basket? Um, playing off two feet is something that Brad emphasizes and it just gives you a little bit more options than going off one. Um, I don't feel like a lot of guys can stay in front of me with my quickness and then my size and strength. So, you know, getting a little bit of an advantage as like Kevin, as I slow down, he slows down with me. And as I speed back up, I just get a little bit faster and, and play off two feet and make a good play. I find that really interesting, playing off two feet. How different is that than what you kind of did most of your life? Because I feel like the guys who are most, the most athletic usually like to play off one foot. Um, so what type of adjustment has that been for you? Um, as like the game teaches you as you get older, playing off one um, is quicker, but at the same time it exposes, you know, um, and it's easier to react to, to recover. This is a fast athletic league. If I go off one here, Mitchell Robinson is going to smack my shot to the third row. <laughs> You know, but I give him the little shot fake because I know he's a shot blocker and I'm able to get, you know, a strong finish through that. What did you love about that particular dunk that took place during the preseason against Charlotte? I never experienced a yeah. NBA game, so I didn't know how I felt. You know, you heard it on TV, but it's a different feeling like when, once you're there and like they're cheering for you. He's just running and Trayvon threw it like a no-look pass and I dunked on the baseline, reverse dunked on the baseline. Like once I dunked it, you know, I didn't, like the feeling in my body was unreal. Like I never felt nothing like that in my life. Not just because I dunked it, but just like, like how I felt in the, in the building. And it's just like, I wish I could just like fly over and just see everybody's reaction.